So what's going on toxic gamers? You know it's real when the FBI gets involved in the gaming drama. Yeah man, you guys know what I always say man. Remember to always have your psych card ready because it can be pretty handy in situations like that where the FBI is like let me just pull up real quick, right? Because Sig is out here, be sending heaven proposals, Sig is trying to play God out here. Like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Guys, listen, I'm not a savage, you guys know the deal, I gotta give everybody equal chances, okay? But, we're just gonna get right into it. Shout out to the homie, Rev says Deshu, roll it! Hey, what's up guys, Rip here. So it's not rare that we have an update to a video on this channel, but it is rare when you have an update to a video that took place over 6 months ago, but that's what we got today. So this headline comes from Dexerto saying, Asbin Gold says he was contacted by the FBI over a $30,000 streamer bounty. Now, this is a situation that took place earlier this year, and as Dexerto states here, Asbin Gold has revealed that he was contacted by the Federal Bureau of Investigation concerning a $30,000 bounty offered by another Twitch streamer, but chose no. not to pursue any action. During hey man, can a brother get like two pennies? Bruh, like the yeah, FBI is uh, getting involved into that on some gaming matter. Damn. In his stream on November 8th, a viewer told him that they had seen a clip of a streamer doing a 30k bounty on him yeah. and that they didn't get banned. In response, mm. Asmin initially pointed out that the individual responsible was joking was just, around. Now, in truth, I am just joking around. Spoiler alert, it was a queen though. That's why you will not get banned. Because when you are a, I'm just a dad's little princess, strong, independent. Men are always just manipulating, you know what I'm saying? So you don't get banned. You always want to have two things ready, okay? At all costs. Number one, your psych card, okay? Always have your psych card ready whenever in doubt. But if you're a female, you don't need to have a psych card, Bruh. all right? Shout out to my queens out here that that also use psych card, right? Because we as men, we have to always use psych card, okay? Because if you're like, oh shit, I'm getting canceled, psych, psych, and then you're magically saved. Then you're magically saved. <laughs> Dexerito fashion, they ignore the majority of the context and they act like everything just happened in the past couple of days. So I'm going to do you a favor and give you the proper context before we look at the reaction further from Asmongold and other people involved in this situation based on some recent comments that Asmongold made. Hell so, yeah, hell yeah. this very serious situation where multiple people had bounties on their heads was over a very serious topic. That very serious topic was, of course, Stellar Blade. Mainly people pointing out the censorship of this game on release. And, uh, yeah, very serious stuff. And we saw people like Mark Kern, the former team lead for the OG World of Warcraft, going by Grums on Twitter. He would make a post talking about the censorship, where he hmm. was met with this response from a now suspended yeah. Twitter user saying, $20,000 to anyone that makes this dipshit disappear. Yes, this Stellar Blade stuff is very... $20,000. Damn, man. Brother was thinking he was in some GTA Online crap, right? And, and he did not say psych. He did not say psych. That's why this happened. He should have just said psych and it would have been solved. Uh, of course, I'm kind of joking around. It don't work like that. There are certain things when you say, even if you use the psych card, you can never make a comeback. I lied. I lied. But... I ain't lying right now. You feel what I'm saying? If you catch my drift though, like I'm trying to be real with you guys. The psych card is very helpful, ladies and gentlemen. But in certain scenarios, even if you pull the psych card, it's not gonna help you, okay? I wish I could say psych. I know you guys want me to say, please say psych, please say psych. I wish I could, but guys, these are facts, okay? These are facts, no printer. Very serious business. Obviously, this is quite unhinged. And this is where Asmongold would get involved earlier this year. So I made a video talking about this bounty placed on Mark Kern's head, and mm. my comments were very mm. simple. I said, mm. that's a very unhinged thing to do over gaming drama. And then Asmongold would react to that video and say, that's a very unhinged reaction to some gaming drama. I know, very, uh... And I'm reacting to this video, and I'm gonna absolutely be real. This is a very unhinged drama? Yeah. Crazy stuff. But then we would get the next participant in the situation, which is Denim's TV. And as you can see, she would up the bounty at the time, citing the uh, Stellar Blade disagreements. So mm. to understand the clip we're going to watch, I have to kind of give you the bounds of what we're talking about here. It's a reaction section. So right now, we're going to react to Denim's TV, reacting to Asmongold, reacting to me, reacting yeah. to a tweet about Mark Kern reacting to Stellar Blade censorship. Got okay, it. And, and who am I reacting to exactly? <laughs> and I'm gonna be reacting to that, reacting to this, reacting to that, and you guys sitting back, you're like... Uh, who am I reacting to? <laughs> yeah, exactly, but guys, you know what? Forget about it, forget about it, just throw your brain in their trash can. Here we go, baby! Okay, let's watch the clip. Listen, I'll up the number, okay? 30k to anyone 
who will make this dipshit disappear and make Eve's breasts bigger. Okay, you have to do both. All right? Because then it's a win-win for me. I okay. get more breast, and I don't have to see that moron on my timeline anymore. Mm. So at the time, a lot of people reacted mm. to that clip and said, wow, that is a very clear violation of Twitch's TOS, specifically referring to violence and threats. So if you look at this bottom part right here, it says yeah. encouraging others to participate in acts that may harm others. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but a lot of people who are fans of Denim's TV or haters of Asmongold or Mark Kern, they looked at this section and said, oh, wait a second, she was just joking, this doesn't apply. Now, of course, yeah. those people can't tell you where in this self-described zero tolerance policy where an exception exists for people who are just joking. Mm. But anyways, if you look at Denim's TV mm. right now on Twitch, her channel is banned. Not no. because of the comments involving the bounty, but instead she has been recently banned alongside some of her friends for comments they made and really just the totality of this Twitch sponsored panel where they made a tier list many people believed was based on racial characteristics. So at the top you can see the more Arab you are as a streamer, the higher you are on this list. But at the bottom, if you're more Jewish or people believe you are in support of Israel, that puts you at the bottom. Boo, you're bad, according to this tier list. So I guess it's not too surprising that they would get in trouble for this. But while looking for that specific image we just looked at, I actually found Twitch this bans. article that I didn't even know. Twitch bans several Arab streamers following Habibi ratings panel at TwitchCon. Meh! Meh! Y'all look crazy, but it's like... Damn, man, it's like the same thing, man, as a, as a brown man. I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card and all that crap, man. Damn, it's like one Arab streamer does something and then all the Arab people are all of a sudden like put into this crap. Like if one Arab guy does this, it's like that. If one black guy robs a bank or a store, it's like all my BBC homies are gonna do that crap. Like, come on, man. Like, damn, it don't work like that, man. That That's crazy, though. That's crazy. Oh, though. existed from Alyssa Mercante, who has recently announced she is leaving Kotaku. So this was one of her final articles where, ironically, in a situation where people are alleging that this is a racially based tier list, mm, there she tries to make this whole situation about the targeting of Arab streamers and the fact that they got banned and singled out for whatever reason. Just kind of a funny observation. Mm. But let's return mm. to the comments. A lot of people also thought that what she said and what that other individual said about Mark Kern were potentially violating federal laws. Again, mm. this stuff is taken very seriously, especially when it's made over the internet, which is in the federal jurisdiction immediately, and something that we really can acknowledge as something legitimate here, especially since Asmongold reports that he was contacted by the FBI over this whole situation. Yeah. But the situation at the time back in April would get complicated because Asmongold, in his reaction to Denim's TV's comments, would, as he admits later, misinterpret yeah. her comments as one being directed towards him and not Mark Kern. Because then it's a win-win for me. What a retard. I get more breast, and I don't have to see that moron on my timeline anymore. Oh my god. So if you think about it. No. <clears throat> well, if she's so aggressive. It. Well, it's simple. So how do you deal with a situation like this? It's really easy. Uh, I contacted Twitch about it earlier. I sent them the clip, and we'll see what happens. And, yeah. you know, maybe after that, I... A and nothing really happened. I mean, if, uh, right now we're hearing that she got banned, but that's for, like, something different. She didn't get banned for putting like a GTA online bounty, but in real life though, Twitch was like, nah man, she was, she said psych. She didn't even say psych though, that's the thing, man. I get it though, if you say psych, then okay, all your sins are washed away and all that, okay? I get that, but she, that's the thing, man. She didn't say psych. If she did say psych, then oh, I'm like, cool, 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 okay? Maybe, right? Maybe, right? But she didn't say psych. She didn't say psych, man. What are we talking about? I be looking like this right now. Dang on. I might put in a police report. I'm gonna just wait and see how things play out. Th okay. This is unhinged. It it's completely unhinged. It's totally uncalled for. Yeah, this is like a felony. What is this? It's a felony. She's got me on the screen and she's saying that. Yeah, mm. so um, I, I did see this. I thought it was quite ridiculous. It's actually uh, kind of a surprise. So yeah, like I said, later- Yeah, like it, it's crazy, right? Because streamers are like, hey, let me just uh, do this crap. Of course, there's probably like, uh, of course, like people watching this, they're not going to be doing that, right? But I guess we all understand that there would be like one or two locals out there that might be watching that might actually do something like that. You feel what I'm saying? Generally, most people are good. And of course, every, on the internet, everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. but in real life, hey, I like your stuff, man, I'm saying. But on the internet, yeah, 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 yeah. but in real life, people are not like that, though. So a sick is not going to send heaven proposals in real life, but sick is going to send heaven proposals on the internet, though. Big difference, ladies and gentlemen, big difference. But 
Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's Later see on, what's he'll next. acknowledge that he misinterpreted who she was directing that bounty to her. Surprise. So yeah, like I said, later on, he'll acknowledge that he misinterpreted who she was directing that bounty towards. But at the time, she was still not taking this stuff seriously. So to add another layer to this reactionception here, at the time, Denim's TV would react to Asmongold's video. And basically, I'll spare you. I won't play another clip. I will just spare you here. For about 30 seconds straight, she just snortles and snickers and basically mocks the idea that anyone could be offended or concerned about a bounty being placed on their head over stellar blade discussions. But anyways, let's finally return to the Dexerito art that you now have all of the context you need that was lacking from this article. Mm. And now we can focus on what actually happened two days Finally. ago in Gold stream, where he brought up the fact that the FBI had contacted him over those comments from Denim's TV. The mm. FBI actually contacted me about that. And I talked to the FBI and I chose not to pursue any charges or any problems with it. I saw a oh, okay. streamer doing a 30K bounty on you, didn't get banned. Yeah, but she did that. She was joking around and also, um, I, I'll say it. She was just joking around. I, I mean, to be fair though, she probably was joking around. Yes, hear me out, hear me out. She probably was joking around, but she forgot to say psych, man. You gotta say psych. If you're joking, you just gotta say psych, but I guess it'd be what it'd be, man. Some people don't require the psych card. You just gotta be strong and independent. Men are always wrong. Men are always just manipulating. You, you say that, it's just like, I mean, you don't even have to say if you're, you know, strong and independent, so. That's why I'm saying class, class. Take notes, okay? Just gotta, just gotta be strong, independent, and you're good. If you're a man, use your psych card, but it's not 100% uh, factual in this case, sadly. Alright, so if you're gonna take notes, put like a big, big ass asterisk around using a psych card, because it might not work, okay? I'm sorry, but that's the truth, okay? That's the truth. The FBI actually contacted me about that, and I talked to the FBI, and I chose not to pursue any charges or any problems with what it. What a guy. Makes sense, makes yeah. sense, right? Because you don't want the FBI, like, probing your ass in this case. Uh, but, yeah, I chose not to do it. The reason why I chose not to do it is because I rewatched the clip, mm. and she clearly was not talking about me. So based on that, I think he makes the context much more clear and makes a pretty clear distinction of who was contacted as a result of this whole situation. And he would add further clarification. So it, by the looks of it, she was not putting a heaven proposal request out in the open or GTL and bounty on Asmongold, but she was putting it on somebody else. So FBI was like, hey, you want to press charge? She said, that? nah, man. They didn't put it on me. And FBI was like, oh, okay, tough love, brother. All uh, right, we pull out. <laughs> so, like, does this solve the issue? Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. So she was not putting up GTL and Bounty on Asmongo, but she did put on somebody. Who was that somebody, right? Yeah, man, let's let's find out. Let's find in out. a reply to the original Dexerito Twitter post saying, to clarify, I didn't pursue any charges or investigation because it wasn't my place to do so. It oh. would have been a waste of government time and resources. I tremendously support and respect law enforcement, and it would have been wrong to weaponize them over a or lie. Online. And mm. I think that is a very fair thing because I don't fair. think those comments were ever supposed to be directed towards him, but he does say it's not his place. So whose place might it be? Mm. We'll return to Mark Gurn, who looks at this whole context and the reaction from... Asmongold recently about the situation, and he clarifies in this response here saying, FYI, she never apologized to her actual target, which is, of mm. course, Mark Kern. And he would go... F and to understand this even more, the plot thickens when you realize that all of this happened because of Stellar Blade. Yeah, because of the Eve character, obviously this is Brock, Le Brock no, Abby the Brock Lesnar character in The Last of Us 2, so he was like, yeah, yeah, that's good. On Steve, or, or not Steve, on Eve. <laughs> On Eve, not Steve, but on Eve, uh, Sony was like, E, 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 brother E, brother E, right? Uh, and of course, that caused like massive drama in the six, okay? Like, seconds were rolling, seconds were going off, and everybody was like, hey, man, like, damn, damn, right? Like, and I was also be like, I, I was also like, hey, damn, I do not understand what's the problem here. It's just a video game. So people were having meltdown, the walkies were going off, and everybody was like, okay, let me just attack from this angle, this angle, this angle, and I forgot that angle, so let me attack from that angle as well. Yeah. And then, you know, people going in, people going, people beefing, 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 and after that massive beef, circus were like, okay, let's take a step further and let's start putting out having proposals, let's start putting out GTA Online bounties, but not in GTA, but in real life though, yay! Oh. 
and then, 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 then it, it gets down to FBI getting involved, and Esmond Gold was like, nah, man, she didn't put, uh, 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 you know, uh, GT Online bounty on me, so it's not my place. That's fair, though. That's fair, though. But now, this is where we at. It's crazy, man. This butterfly effect, crazy, man. Holy crap, man. Further, and make this tweet saying, here's the joke to take out a $30,000 bounty on my head. At Denim's TV, later clarified, she meant me and not Asmongold. FBI contacted <clears throat> Asmongold about it, who declined to press charges because it wasn't meant for him. <clears throat> if offered, she will find me not so tolerant of these types of jokes, oh, which is- So, uh, FBI was like, okay, okay, Asmongold, yeah, you cool, bro. You know, real homie squad up. She didn't put a- <laughs> she didn't put a- You real- Man, okay, this is crazy, right? Because I don't think FBI is this stupid, though. They must have- they, they got psychologists, they got everybody, right? They, they got data and all that. They must have known that- they must have known that she put a-, a, a like, this uh, bounty on Denim's TV, right? So they- but, but they- so far, even though Asmongold uh, said that, no, it, it wasn't about me, it was about- somebody else in this case denim's tv even after that the fbi didn't contact him it's still like an early story i mean it's been six months right but but still <laughs> still kind of like an early story man crazy man come on fbi contact the uh, the homie denim's tv too a very fair thing to point out here because her defense is that number one she was joking but then two her target wasn't asmongold it was mm. actually mark kern but the mm. fbi contacted Asmongold and has yeah. never contacted Mark Kern and neither has Denim's TV ever actually said anything to Mark Kern let alone apologize to him so I think Mark Kern is right in his feelings here and he has every right to do what he feels is best in the situation but overall I think we can understand that this has all gone way too far I mean this was about way a too stellar far. blade censorship conversation and as always with the Mike Tyson quote here social media made y'all way too comfortable with disrespecting <laughs> people and not yeah. getting punched in the face for it and we're going Facts. way beyond even that Facts. people feel like they can talk about people's lives and threats on it like it doesn't actually have any potential consequences. I mean, look at the recent election results. Go on Twitter and type in a certain four letter word and then add Trump to it. You will see thousands of tweets saying, not just encouraging, but saying directly themselves that they're going to gay men, the incumbent president of the United States, a mm. felony. This is the kind of stuff that Crazy. gets your door kicked down by the FBI. I don't know if it's because people are just delusional. They're Facts. unaware of the seriousness of their actions here or they're just so caught up in their emotions that they don't understand what they're doing but yeah people are way too comfortable saying completely out-of-pocket stuff about people's lives on social media but anyway that is the update i, I want to show you guys I, I was trying to find a meme i couldn't yeah sadly i couldn't find it it was like a very funny a funny meme it was like a guy fighting and 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 he's like fighting a guy and then there's another guy that comes in just like watching them not even doing anything and he just auto locks the other guy and start punching it was a funny clip that's what i was trying to find i just couldn't find it guys but uh, i guess next time i'll show you check out this video on the screen recently massive drama with nick Merx. nick Merx started exposing everybody not sure if you guys saw this or not check it out it's crazy y'all gaming drama man what else can i say check it out and i'll see you